Out of wealth, out of what we have, and out of importance. I think there's another version that put it, maybe NIV. Read me NIV. Do not love the world or anything in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not the same. For everything in the world, the craving. So you can see that part of what we are talking about, the boostings of what he has and does. This thing may be so if the world is doing it, you find you as a minister so getting into it. The reason is because a question from the world system can trigger it off. Are you understanding? You have been a graduate. You graduated almost at the same year with this fellow colleague who is a business tycoon now. And he just suddenly met you. I said, Dad! What? Are you still around? He said, well, I'm there. <laughs> he said, so what are you doing? What are you doing? You look, uh, when we're in school, you are promising. <laughs> hey? So what's happening to you? Where are you? How is life treating you? And he's dangling his key. You know, before your eyes. Then you are put in a tight corner to start talking. <laughs> it is then you will see the reality of what we are talking about. It is then you now start talking about. Um, uh, actually, I am a minister. You won't even say I'm a pastor. Because you see, there's a dignity of of the word minister. You know that that kind of thing. Say, say I'm a minister. I'm a minister. And then say, what do you mean? You're a minister. <laughs> and if it's this one that is speaking Americanese. Then you find yourself also twisting your tongue and say, Well, you know, um, we also, um, in fact, we have a fast growing church in town, and um, God is, you know, and so you now quickly begin to look for, even though you are not telling lies, are you understanding? You are looking for some outstanding something. That you could quickly chalk in while you are praying that he should quickly let you <laughs> you quickly leave you alone, you know. But how God will give us boldness to shout on the world and say, Leave me alone. I bear in my body the marks of the Lord Jesus. Actually, it was, I don't know whether it, I think it was my observation and reaction at the same time. The last time we came to Abelta, and at the end of one, one of the days of this, somebody that knew you, I'm sure you will remember this episode. You know, and at the end of the day, the person was outside, he, he has come, he came on stage to him and he went outside. That no matter the the sprouting out of our rod, we will keep it. We will keep it by the testimony. Are you understanding?
understanding. As we keep it there, because we are not carrying it, land. Men could take us for granted. But the reason why you felt like that is because of what God may have shown you. Say, what? Ah, why do you do like that? Maybe tomorrow when the Holy Spirit arrests him and opens his eyes and says, Don't you dare call my servant like that again. Are you understanding? He now comes and says, You know, all we are saying is, let it be God. Let it not be us. Demanding it and saying, you don't know whom you are talking to. You think it's the, it's the you, think, you think it's your school mate that you are talking about? No. And that's finished. No. God will do it. Say for example, I went for a meeting and uh, God had walked. Several hearts had been broken. People from various grades and all that. And you see, right in the congregation, I saw somebody whom I had known for long and is quite more older than me and in Yoruba culture the normal thing is to go and need and and just prostrate for him. So I went and prostrated. Ah the man said no no you just want to kill me. He said, <laughs> <laughs> said no 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 ah no 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 don't do that to me again. You don't know that you have changed. Ah. No 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 you are no more ah no you know, he refused. I said, no, but I'm still a uh, uh, billionaire. I said, no. I said, don't do that. Said, no. Don't do that to me again. What's caused that? It has God who has passed across and opened his eyes. Look at Jesus. As great as his anointing was. What were they calling him? Carpenter's son. So you can imagine that uh, in the midst of a big outburst of the glory of God, and uh, those ones that came from his roots, what would they say? They would call him by his uh, boyhood name. Carpenter's son. Come and name my net. When you finish doing this, come and name my net. <laughs> you know? So, that kind. That kind. And that may be the greatest reason why a prophet may not have honor in his own home. Because, you know, there's this tendency of over familiarity. Not being able to see through God what God is doing in their life and just taking it for granted you know so there's that kind that one will keep meeting and there will be that reaction there will be that reaction the reaction of those that have seen the real thing and those that have not seen it are you understanding and those that saw it can even be a scanner. They can be very scanner. They can even say, no. Don't. <laughs> you can call him his, his name when you are in your village. <laughs> but not here. Not here. They can even fight. But even fighting wouldn't be right. Are you understanding? It wouldn't ever be correct. So, all such are conflicts that the world system imposes and brings. But as the Lord honors, you know, His 
servant because he is backing you up with his own life and anointing. There is an honor that comes from God. And we could wait for it. Are you understanding? So, the world system keeps doing this to, to us, to intimidate you, to squeeze you into its mold. So that's one reality on the other side that we will contend with. And since we are going to operate in the midst of the world, one day one will be you will face the raw challenge. But it's not enough. If we cherish God, that's what you read. So anybody who loves this world, it only shows that he doesn't love God. If we love God, you see the way the way I saw the word love God there, it means more than that to love. I mean but to cherish to appreciate and to hold in high esteem God in someone's life. So if anybody can give in to the world system, it means that God doesn't mean much to him. That's the implication of that scripture. It means that you didn't cherish what God exactly is to you or in your life. That's why you can be put under a quick pressure of the world system and you drop God and you go for it. And I see what you are going for can take you through life and it cannot. Praise the Lord. So, why we... I think we have finished that scripture. Let's just now revise it from Amplified. No, we are back in our Romans. Romans 12. From 16. Yes. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty, snobbish, high-minded, exclusive, but readily adjust yourself to people, things, and give yourselves to humble tasks. Never overestimate yourself or be wise in your own conceit. Don't overestimate yourself. Neither don't, I mean, Neither should you be wise in your own conceit. That's very easy. Is that is the summary of the issue of the pride? I mean, the proud look. And as a matter of priority, it came first. Do you notice that it came first? And it's coming. You wanted to say something. Okay, it's coming first. It's like it's the root of several other things that keep coming in uh, one's life. It's like the root. It keeps reoccurring. Because you won't know how exaggeration and lying is directly connected with pride. So, if we deal with the proud look, you will soon discover that majority of issues that one is contending with, inflation of church, uh, church, church statistics, inflation, the video trick. All of you right now, just wave, just wave to Jesus. And as you are doing like this, he has told you, dear man, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, and do it. 
you know, when you do like this, yes, if if four of us stand now <laughs> and we do our hand like this, and we are doing our hand like this, and when you take the photograph, hands that are like this, you will think that there's somebody standing in between us whose hand is like this, another person who's standing like this, another person who's standing like this. So, for four, you will be having an, a print of 60. So, by the time you see something that looks like a crowd, and the statistics we give as a result of our meetings, you keep wondering, what exactly is leading us into this hope? Our statistics. You need to watch it. Oh. I will say it. more than 500,000 attended the meeting in the night. A single night. You kept wondering. How? How did we get to know it all? And it's in the night. And it's not as if the whole place was well lit that you were able to handle it so. All these are small, small things. And, you know, when we were finishing our prayer in the morning, or in the evening rather, and God referred me to this question, this scripture, Psalm 15. Bring me good news. You all can open your Psalm 15. sacred here a person who obeys God in everything and always does what is right whose words are true and sincere whatsoever he says they are true and sincere both in interpersonal relationship and all that. There is a craze, a craze for giving, you know, numbers and all that. Maybe to impress our supporters or whatever. Once our focus is shifted from God, Anybody who is supporting us and is not giving it to God, we have nothing to do with Him. Any man who brings his offering, if it is a true offering, in the days of Israel, you drop your offering at the gate of the temple where the the priest received it for you and it is offered. You don't follow it into the into the inner sanctuary to see what they are doing with it. And if we are waiting for God to raise hell for us, we wouldn't be running into the conflict. Or struggling to impress, induce, entice for further giving. It now says, Six things does the Lord hate, yes, seven are an abomination to him a proud look, a lying tongue, 
hands that shed blood. That's number three. And heart that devises wicked imaginations. Feet that be sweet in running to mischief. False witness that speaketh lies. And ye that soweth discord among brethren. Now see how um, see how Psalm 15 I put it. A person who obeys God in everything. And always does what is right. Whose words are true and sincere. That means doesn't have a lying tongue. And who does not slander others? He does no wrong to his friends. Nor spreads rumors about his neighbors. Are you understanding that? He does not spread rumors about his neighbors. As much as God has called us to maintain the presence of God in our lives, we are told to preach good news. We have been ordained and sanctified to do what? To preach good news. I don't so much know what concerns me about the story of uh, another person, and it's not a good story. What do you want to be doing with it? As much as possible, try not to get involved. Don't be tempted and say, we need to know it so that uh, we can use it to correct our people. No. We have enough, we have enough things of the truth that is enough. And you know, the truth, as soon as you are preaching the truth, it exposes the other side. Automatic. Even without you saying anything, you just find it flowing out. It's not your business to spread rumors about your neighbor. And something, he despises those who God rejects, but honors those who obey the Lord. He always does what he promises, no matter what it costs. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. He does not believe in flattery. He does not believe in flattery. He doesn't flatter any man. He speaks. His words are true and sincere. I perceive that uh, many of us are, have reached the land of... Uh, <laughs> Praise the Lord. Um, okay, we we'll must stop here at this point. We will meet. We are continuing. But the continuation of the meeting, don't forget our focus. God is helping us, showing us what will hinder Him from helping us. But we need to know what we must do for Him to help us. Isn't it? It's still not enough. I just felt that, no, we can't go yet. We can't say, oh, we have finished this meeting yet. We have not. God needs to show us what we must do. I thought God would quickly put us there. But he needed to remove this so that if he begins to help us, he doesn't get distracted. And um, while we were praying in the evening, yesterday night, I saw that what God wants to bring us to, if he qualifies us for it, it's going to be a turning point, which I'm, I've been praying. I've been praying as an individual that God will enable each one of you 
and myself to touch it. That when you touch that, you no longer sweat a ministry. You can now go boldly, focus on what God is asking you to do, be sure, just like that of Jesus, that and the power of God was present for him to do what? To heal them, to help the people, to deliver them. We will have God, you know, the way I saw it is like it's like like a eh? Yes. Yes. You have seen some big people before when they are going for a party. There's somebody who follows them with a bag <laughs> a bag of money. Anytime he needed money, just to, and that one will quickly bring it like this. It may look like an imperfect illustration, but Baba wants to be stand by. I say like when we preach, 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 and uh, and Baba himself is present to confirm it. To move around and show the people and say, I'm the one. How wonderful it will be. The greatest thing a ministry ought to do is that it, it makes the Lord to come into a fresh encounter with the people. Do you know the greatest effect you ever had under any message is if as the preacher is preaching, your heart is being exposed and you stop hearing that it is the man talking and it suddenly dawns on you that this is the Lord talking to me. Do you know that at such point there's going to be a, a permanent experience? Eh? Yes. So if that keeps coming all the time, how beautiful it will be to now labor. If all the time the Lord Jesus is there. Confirm me. Confirm me. And say, yes, yes, yes. If you are talking of healing, Baba is there. Confirm me. If you are speaking, word of wisdom is flowing out. And people say, no, this is not the man. It's the Lord who is talking to us. And they will act. That is the matter. So I'm praying and I'm believing that even at this point, God has just taken us a, a bit into what it will take. I mean, what He hates, what scares Him away. We saw this Ashaman, and uh, we are going to yet see then the men whom God helped, and how He kept them in help. We mustn't finish talking about this without looking at some other concrete examples too that God is lifting before our eyes. The Bible is not only negative, it is also full of you know, corresponding positive action so that each one of us can know what else to do. Praise the Lord. So, we are going to pray at this point. We are going to com commend ourselves to God and say, Lord, this life of mine, I lay it at your feet. And even though, you know, as we came at some issues, you felt, you felt jolted. Say, what? So, could God mean it? He meant it. But rather than be afraid, this is a family affair. It's Baba who loved us, who is talking to us. Hallelujah. Baba who wanted me and you to succeed. And I must say to you that the issues we are raising here, they are practical. By God's grace, within the little limit of our own little years of exposure, it has worked. Praise the Lord. It has worked. It has worked. I 
and it's effective and it brings peace and joy and I believe that our testimony will go that's the issue what we have seen in time past is is going to be small compared with our days ahead but if we were to even talk of our own burnt ashes it has worked and there is nothing anybody can intimidate us with in terms of all the fanfare glamour and all that that holds so much water as to regret this way of the word of God it worked just as it worked for our elders and I know it will work for us in the name of Jesus so let's go to God you know where we are we are in his presence we told him that even though as human beings we are going to react we are going to discuss <coughs> we are going to interact with one another and all that that he shouldn't mind he should not withdraw his presence I still can feel as relaxed as this atmosphere is Baba is still very much around let's go before him and uh, thank him how he sustained us all this while and we started all the way from 10 we are here now see let's pray see. now let's now pray and say Lord this is a family affair and we told the devil that it's not his business it's not his business this is my me and my Baba talking correcting me I'm in a good hand I am in a safe hand and I want to yield lovingly to my father because of who he is I want to yield lovingly lovingly with all my heart lovingly unto the Lord thank you let's go on pray let's pray let's yield unto the Lord you for this morning. Father, we are quite amazed at your presence and at this council meeting you are holding with us in the cleft of the rock of ages. Thank you that it was not on the day of judgment reading these things to us how will it have been that several years of our labor will have just have a, a, a tinge of condemnation and say well you labor for self thank you that again you didn't do this where the enemy could accuse us. You did it in your presence where we can take correction. Lord, we are going to be obedient children. We are not going to be children that cause us shame. Lord, we are not going to be children complaining of rioters who live and squandered all their father's resources with the rioters living. But Lord, we are going to be obedient, responsible children. Thank you for talking to us. We will obey you by your power, by your grace. We will keep in line with you in the name of Jesus. We will dare to be different. We already can see that there is a line. There is a line. It's not a new line. It's the same old line between spirit and flesh, between Ishmael and Isaac between Agar between 
Aga and Sarah is the same old line, the same line between 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 Abel and Cain. Is the same line between Esau and Jacob. The same line is the same line. Lord is not new line that you are drawing for us. We cannot stand up and say, Oh, this is a new thing and that we are studying a new No, it's what our elders followed. Whosoever didn't follow your pattern perished. We saw it all through and you were careful enough to keep the records of those who followed and those who backed out. Lord, we have records. Dema. 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 He started on this kind of life. Going to the Bible, brother Paul. But the Bible said, He deserted him. Why? Because Demas loved this present world. The world hasn't changed. The world hasn't changed. Others have departed. Others because of pressure. Some because of inducement of the world. The line is still here. But we pray for our souls that we will not depart from the living God in the name of Jesus. We are praying, we are eager that we will make a shipwreck of your call on our lives in the name of Jesus. Lord, we are praying that all you have shown us, all you have shown us we couldn't even take all the study on pride and scorn. But Lord, we know your Spirit has already done a lot in our hearts. Your Spirit has already spoken for a lot. You have already begun to excavate several things you don't want. And Father, we also join us with you and say we don't want them again. In the name of Jesus Christ. We cherish you before, but now we also place upon you rejected, discarded in the name of Jesus. Tonight or this morning, Lord, we are just praying that this that you are doing must become a permanent experience in each of our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Almighty God, we perceive that you first gave us opportunity to sort out and to take the devil off so that we may sit down and hear. Neither is this supposed to be a human arranged accusation. <laughs> Neither is this supposed to be a devil sponsored accusing spirit trying to just find fault with our lives. It's a loving Father speaking and we are willing to yield in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord, we do pray that this is just an aspect. We still know there is that aspect that we are eagerly yearning for. What then must we do for you to help us? Our life can just be that which we will not do. There is something we should do for you to help us. And we are willing Lord to come again and sit at your feet for such instructions. Help us Father in the name of Jesus. Lord as the meeting runs we are looking to you that we won't miss anything by the time it is time to conclude the meeting. We are watching you, Father, when you want to dismiss us. 
but you know what we have told you we wanted that fire call that completely changed Isaiah and it became different such experiences my brothers and sisters must have at the close of this meeting or at the ongoing of the meetings in the name of Jesus Christ and not just that even the ministry you have placed in our hands must experience the fire call must experience fire fire from on high in the name of Jesus and Lord we are praying that the revelation of your power be the evidence of life you started by helping us to look at the, the pursuit of a minister it must be life the evidence of life will begin to overwhelm us day by day the Lord my brothers, my sisters will come to such a point O oh God that whosoever sees them there will be no need for credentials no letter of introduction there will be no need for long, 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 long introduction for their works their life will introduce them for the Bible said the gift of a man make it a way for him but who so boasted of a false gift is like a cloud without water a cloud without rain he gives people he raises people's hopes but he dashes it as it turns off like a thin air that will no longer be our life <coughs> how many times people have been enticed, induced and seduced to come with great expectation not so because we spoke great things about ourselves we acted big we acted big we, we, we took the money from the temple treasury to do these things yet when they came they went back again thirsty Lord, we want to ask, reverse the order for us. It is nothing else that will make a way for us but the gift, the life, the concrete evidence of your life in our lives that will make a way and make a room for us. We dare say again, like we agree with you to yesterday night. I mean, the other night when we were closing, we said, Lord, however our life sprout out, our road sprout, we will not take it away from the altar. We will keep it by the testimony ark in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, this is our pledge with you. The pledge song we sang, nothing between. Do the whole world against us convey nothing like pride like ostentation no but Lord we will just go on we will allow you to give honor unto your word for Lord some of us several people are wondering aren't you going into darkness aren't you missing it Lord I know some workers with some of your servants some of your pastors we we'll start imagining. I thought it's a place of flamboyant, that's why I joined you. Some will say, Well, if we are going to now settle down, face this kind of reality, I would like to go somewhere else. Some will start reviewing whether they were called into ministry or not. Lord, I do ask you that when something happens, may your children never feel bad. Rather let them rejoice, knowing that it is you cutting off Lot from Abraham so that the man can do his journey as he's called to so do. Father, every extra load we carry in ministry that you didn't ordain for us, Lord, extract them from our lives now 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Any wrong man, they may be zealous, very zealous, very, very clever in the things of the world. Of course, that was what they met us doing. So they settled with it. Now that we are shifting our base, God will pray. Help them to shift. Help their own lives to change also. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, thank you. We trust you that we will begin to talk in terms of concrete result of your life and of your grace amidst us. We are very grateful, Father. We honor, we exalt, and we praise you. Thank you. Until we come back, even as we go to rest, some will not actually rest, but they may go around doing some other things. We do ask that you give them strength. And that Lord, when we come back, we come refreshed. We come, O oh God, renewed, renewed in life, renewed in heart, renewed in spirit, renewed in vision, renewed in focus, renewed in purpose, renewed, Lord, in pattern, renewed in every aspect. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Lord, there's temptation to, to go and renew security pact. Because, Lord, quietly, the next question that the world keeps asking, if you now do this, how do you secure your, your daily feeding? How do you secure your future? If you start being like this, if you want to live hardcore gospel like this, how do you secure your future? Eh? How can you go on like this? How do you secure things? God we do ask you this morning that you will open our eyes before we leave to understand that you have a great exceeding reward. And that you cannot abandon us at the middle of the way. And that we are actually secured in the everlasting arms. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Almighty God. Thank you for listening to us. Thank you for the atmosphere. Thank you for the innumerable company of angels who kept on guard. They were eager to hear this thing we are talking. But they were not allowed to come in. Because... This is a family affair. Servants must of necessity stay outside. Thank you, Lord. We are grateful. We we worship you. Thank you for Jesus. Thank you. Holy Ghost, thank you. That you broke your word down in our midst. As we all contributed, we said I say more light. You will yet do more. And God has to come back. Liberty of revelation and liberty of all trans you will reveal to us thank you Father in Jesus Christ's name we pray Amen. Amen. Amen please let's stand up and join our hands together Like this, to stand alone 
in the midst of conflict can be a real issue. When left, right, front and back, the whole pressures from the whole world against us convey. We are all doing things here. God is helping us here and there. And some of us people say, Oh, have you listened? Have you heard that? Have you heard this? Have you attended this church? Have you attended this ministry? Have you been in that place? Have you been here? Have you been there? The end of the thing is, is better, is to be desired than the beginning thereof. All that you have seen today and is causing your heartbreak didn't begin like that. We have not lived too long, yet we have seen people who rose and people who came down. What will be our lot? What will be our lot? But God taught us a principle the other day. Let's bring back the rod. He said, Tell Aaron, bring back Aaron's rod again, always to bring it back. So, why we take the Sunday last time with much bond of oneness, much, much bond of oneness and, and support, let's tell the Lord that our end must be better than our beginning. That as we are growing like this, it shall be a continuous growth. And we shall grow on until we reach heaven. Do you understand that? We will grow on until we can also say with our elders, we say we have run the race, I have fought the fight, I have fought the fight of faith, and I have finished my course. And I'm sure that we also will be able to say along with Stevie, I can see the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God in majesty, welcoming me. Welcoming me. Now with a rebuke and say, you are, you, are, you are a fool. Oh! May God help us that at the end of all this, there will be no reason for God to come and say, you are a fool. Hey, for, for, for not digging all I showed you, for exposing you to all this, and then you went and threw it away. You are a fool. You are a fool. Let it not be his comment concerning our lives. No matter what, no matter the pressure around your life, let's take this song the last time, and then we'll pray for one another. The people who are holding their hands, pray for them. Want to go. Nothing beating like pride or station. Some of friends shall not intervene. Though it may cause me much tribulation. I am resolved there's nothing beating. Nothing beating. My son and the Savior, so that his blessed face may be seen, nothing preventing the least of his favor. Keep the way clear, let nothing be seen. Now let's pray for one another. Just pray. The people that you are holding their hands. If you know, you remember their names, okay? Just pray. The end of this brother, the end of this minister, the end of this sister, the end of this servant of God must be better than what I'm seeing now. Your end will be better than today. Your hand in the work of the Lord. Oh, I could see something. I could see that a host is being developed. A host of God is coming on and on. That the end of each of this life shall be glorious. Glorious, glorious Lord. We have shared together, we have openly looked into the world together, we have prayed together to this point. And to this little light we have seen, 
let's finish off with this agreement. The Lord, we won't be called a fool. We will not be called a fool, O God. None of these sisters, Lord, will be fools for dropping reality for fantasy. None of them will be a fool, O God, for running after that which is not real instead of the reality of your truth. God, none of them will be a fool, O God, for running after men rather than after the Lord. God, you will help us. No matter the pressure, no matter the pressure, no matter the pressure, O oh God, allow us not to, to yield. Yield, O oh, not to temptation, for yielding is sin, as the Savior to have yield. To sustain your life, is ready to aid you. He will carry you through as the Savior to help you, strengthen, comfort, and keep you. of the Lord. 